What's up, YouTube? Um, I'm gonna upload another quick video just because I got time on my hands. And I went grocery shopping. Uh, there's a big grocery store, uh, more of a market actually. They serve, they make a lot of, um, they 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 they, uh, they provide a lot of international options. It's called uh, Jungle Gyms if you're from the Midwest. Um, kind of like Trader Joe's if you know what that is, and kind of like Sprouts if you know what that is, but it's huge. And while I was there, I picked up a ice cream sandwich in the um, like novelty slash um, special ice cream uh, section. And this is the Cool House um, ice cream sandwich. It says architecturally inspired gourmet ice cream sandwich. Um, this is the chocolate chip cookie and Tahitian vanilla bean ice cream sandwich. Um, it's called the Mi Vanilla Roca, which I mean, I don't know. I don't even know what that is, but it's um, the really, really interesting packaging. Um, straight up just foil, um, kind of like freezer bag type look. Um, a lot of interesting text all over this uh, ice cream sandwich. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, it says all natural, vegetarian, no high, high fructose corn syrup, no bovine grown hormones, no sugar substitutes, no artificial flavors, no preservatives. Um, I mean, this is this is like your gourmet hipster ice cream sandwich stuff. I mean, like you you wouldn't get this. You wouldn't get this if you live in, in you know, in the ghettos. Um, one, inter one interesting thing I did see on here was um, something on the side that said. I didn't find it. Uh, I don't know if I can find it, but it said you have to wait a whole minute before consuming. I guess because it's so cold. Oh, right here. You see that? Please allow 60 seconds for your architectural ice cream, Sammy, to thaw and enjoy. So I think it's about 60 seconds here, and we'll open it up and see how good it is. Alright, so we got it. Yeah, this is in there. Pull it out. Kind of melted a little bit. Oh, that's some funky colors too. Bring y'all in. All right. Let's see what's up with this. I think that's the moisture that uh <clears throat> that defrosted when I was on the road home. Um, so let's first bite. Hmm. Hmm. The cookie is very doughy. Um, it really is bordering along cookie dough. I think just because of the moisture. Um, it doesn't exactly taste fresh. The ice cream, if I can be just completely honest, does not taste a very high grade. It's very icy. Um, you can taste the crystals. I do taste the vanilla. Um, you do see a little bit of um, the vanilla bean in there. Um, once again, the cookie is very doughy. Other than that, other than the texture, I mean, it's a chocolate chip cookie. <clears throat> this part was a little better, just because it wasn't in the uh, kind of wet area. But I mean, it's good. I mean, it's it's an ice cream cookie sandwich.
that's exactly what it is. Do have the chocolate chips in there? Um, in, the, in, in the actual cookie, and nothing else really much about. Nothing really else to say. Uh, once again, this is the chocolate chip cookie Tahitian vanilla bean ice cream sandwich. Mies vanilla ro, rohe, roha. I'm gonna say the flavor is good. The texture, not so good. So we'll get some points off for that. Presentation, very nice. Price, I got these on sale. I think it was actually two dollars off, and I got it for two ninety nine. So not too bad for a very decent size. Um, ice cream snack. So let me know if y'all tried this before. The Cool House um, ice cream sandwiches. I'm gonna give this three out of five. I mean, I might buy it again just because I want to try other ones. They have a lot of different flavors, but it's not something I'd go to immediately. So thanks, guys. Cheers. <laughs>